Sagittarius, say a chai, Adrian Nelson here, your psychic tarot reader with your general reading for the 24th to the 31st of July. Please remember it's a general reading. Please take it as it resonates. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, your immediate future. We're going to clarify and then we're going to end off with an oracle card for you to see what it is that the Gaia energy has got for you that it'd like to guide you in. Um, I also recently recorded for you a guided regression hypnosis session for releasing negative energy connecting with your higher guides your spirits your angels um connecting with your highest good that is going to come up on the screen at the end of the reading so you just stick around till the end and it's going to come up for you no worries about that okay um let's see what it is that we got for you my beautiful Sash. there's a card here that wants to come out so i'm going to take it um the death card energy so overall energy for you, the death card, Sagittarius, and the death card is a really amazing energy because it is about moving from a dark space into a light space. It is about the worst being behind you. It's about worse. It's about moving into the light and into the light and all those beautiful things. Okay. Um, let's see. In your recent past, you have got the hanged man energy. And then you have got the Ten of Swords over there, and you also have um, the Nine of Cups, which is really incredible because, first of all, with this overall energy that you have over here, with this Death Card energy that you have over here, this is all about letting go and moving out of the things that are not serving you positively, Sagittarius. So um, this is, it's basically the, the next step based on the the good work that you've done you know it's like um sitting let's say you've got a beautiful sunroom or something like that in the space where you are staying or living and um maybe the windows were dirty and you know all of those type of things and so now you put yourself a comfy couch over there you clean the space you wash your windows and now you can sit there and the sun is beginning to beautifully shine through it's the benefit it's the reward for a lot of hard work that you've put in okay um and then even here with the hangman for some of you especially there in the recent past and for some of you this might still be happening where you are feeling where's life going what is happening oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness i've done my best i've done everything that i should have done and it's still not working out you are encouraged to hand things over to a higher power by beautiful sagittarius um for some of you it, it might have been you know if you've already done that it's really great for some of you it's um it's it's um it's a good thing to do that if you haven't done it yet. You're also reminded of your power here for some reason. Um and it comes through very, very strongly, Sagittarius. So if you've maybe been full feeling powerless and hopeless and you know, what is the point and is this the end of the road for me? Is this how everything ends? You are being reminded that you've gone through a lot of tribulations in this life, but you're also being reminded that it may have felt that you're not going to make it before, but you have been able to survive through many, many things. And I can see beautiful doors opening there for you. Doors that you may not have been aware of, doors that you may not even have reckoned might be doors that will be opening for you. I see those beautiful doors opening there for you, my Sagittarius. And as I always say, you know, you see something, you like it, you, I'm going to say yes to it, you... You know, you put your hand on your heart, you take a nice deep breath and you claim that for yourself. Let's see what's happening for you in your current space. Aha. Uh -huh. Releases and letting go. Releases and letting go. The five of cups, the four of swords and the five of wands. There is a space of emotional conflict that is taking place here um, for you, my beautiful Sagittarius. And... Because the Five of Cups, is, it's, it's about letting go. It's about, you know, letting the past go, not holding on. There's, you know, sometimes we have certain things happening in our life that we don't like. Like, you know, certain life experiences and stuff like that that are happening. But they, they typically happen because of something that isn't resolved in the past here. That energy is still with you. So it might be time to... Um, you know, I'm not talking about giving up, but to release the idea that something has to happen a certain way to allow it to happen in a different way. Okay. Um, 
growing into strength here. There's, like, as I said, there's new opportunities that's coming over here. It's like very unexpected new opportunities that are coming over here. Um, and it's time to stop the emotional conflict, the inner emotional conflict. I'm not speaking about you being right or being wrong, you know, whether you can feel the way you feel or you shouldn't feel the way you feel. What I'm speaking about is there's emotional conflict inside of you. And whatever that emotional conflict is, because it speaks about the recent, uh, sorry, it speaks about the past over there. Um, as well as how you might currently be feeling and that is what holding you from your next step so if you're feeling stuck such a terrorist um, it is it's the inner emotions the inner conflict the inner things that haven't been dealt with that haven't been addressed with you know traumas um, that may have occurred things that aren't spoken about childhood traumas um, it's it's time to let those things go like so you maybe had a lot of conflict growing up I'm sorry there's my cousin at the back my nephew um, you know, you maybe had a lot of conflict at the back, um, you had a lot of difficulty that was happening in your life, whatever it may be, um, you know, just just bear in, in mind that that is, it's holding you back from, from the good that you can live, okay? Let's see what is possible for you in the, in the immediate future. There are solutions that are possible, there are um, financial improvements that are possible here. There were the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. Okay? Um, but the changes that are... It's almost like there are changes in, in the physical that are possible. So with money, time, all those type of things, you know. Um, the materialistic things in life that we need. Um, money and the things that money can buy. There's a balance coming about with that. It's almost like you have been in, investing or depositing your energy in a space that is not necessarily serving your highest good. And it's time to go withdraw that deposit and to sort of like make a better investment energetically. Okay. Um, Queen of Wands, there's a growth here with emotions, growth here with relationships. Um, some of the relationships that you had, so this might be a romantic relationship, relationship with your family, your friends. Some of those relationships may have been a little bit, um, I don't really want to say tarnished. It, it was like they weren't the best that it could possibly be because of this emotional sort of conflict, this inner emotional conflict that was still happening over here. Because remember, by the law of attraction, the universe... Um, gets our messages like the way that we give each other words and writing and stuff the universe gets it by our emotions so that's how you communicate with life and that's obviously how you create your next level so um whatever it is that's coming over here whatever conflict it is that's coming up it's time to release that and often conflict comes up to to sort of show us what it is that we need to release um because there's there's quite a lot there's quite a lot of potential there with the high priestess even coming for you that is possible for your life but at the moment you're sort of in limbo you're sort of in between the two you know you're sort of like um uh, i can i suppose you can say spiritual purgatory you know um let's clarify we're gonna draw a card for this death card i just want to see what this death card is all about because this death card is a very positive omen for you you know so we want to see card falling to the floor give me a moment Okay, there are too many cards that fell to the floor, but there are two cards that are particularly presenting themselves. There's the star energy, Aquarius energy, in reverse. And then there's the six of ones, which is all about victory and success and, and all good things. So, in a way, it seems like some of you um, are, you know, you really were holding your, the good from yourself. You know, so be careful of a vengeful nature. Be careful of saying, you know, ah, whatever, you know, I don't care about them, that sort of thing. You know, um, they're not my cup of tea. I'm above that and so forth and so forth and so forth. Um, anything that's unresolved, anything that's unresolved, anything that you haven't made peace for, anything that you haven't let go, Sagittarius, it is blocking your success. Okay. It is blocking your success. Um, so forgiveness will really set it free and forgiveness of course you know it doesn't condone what the other person did but it, it it sort of like releases the energetic sort of attachment that you have to it so you don't have to be part of that you know the crappy outcome of, of the experience so let's see then the recent past clarifying that hanged man that ten of swords and that nine of cups i must tell you this reading is a little bit all over the place Sagittarius, but we're going to see right now what is being presented to us in clarifications or in clarifying 
um, so another six, you got the six of swords, you got the three of swords, so very three, sixy sort of energy, and the five of coins, which is the five of pentacles. Um, so there's a lot of good that's possible here. Um, and there's a lot of healing that has taken place already, which is really, really great. Um, but it's almost like, you know, once we've done healing within ourselves, it's, it's almost like you want to open it and let it flow to all directions of your life, you know? So we can say, I'm okay with that, I'm at peace with that. But you almost need to allow it to flow to different areas of your life. And then we sometimes find that maybe we're not as at peace with things as we initially thought we were. And that's okay, because then you know what it is that you need to work on. You know what I'm saying? Let's look in your current space. There's five of cups, there's four of swords, and there's five of pentacles. We've got some cards that just popped out there. I'm going to take one more. Um, so I'm just going to show you these cards. And I'm just going to know they've got funny names. But four of cups six of cups and the hero of energy so you are definitely at the start of something new the start of something brilliant because the the hero fund is all about those new things you know but i feel it's almost like there's a little bit of a inner turmoil inner conflict inner war even for some of you between what is best for you and the things in the past that you maybe want to resolve that you want to hold on to um the emotions the it's time to, to flush those things up because you're at the start of a new beginning here and it's it's those difficulties with the new beginnings, it's those teething problems with a new beginning but you're on your way towards something really, really good but in all honesty, the person holding you back is yourself and it's those unhealed emotions, undealt with emotions, unacknowledged emotions almost in a sense, okay? It's, it's really blocking your abundance. It's blocking your flow. All right. Let's see what's happening in your immediate future. So six of pentacles, queen of wands and the high priestess. So you've got the ace of swords. You've got the page of cups. And you've got the judgment energy. So this message is really, it's, it's actually quite strong. You know, um, it's if you want your life to be successful, you want to go forward successfully, my beautiful Sagittarius, it's time to accept, you know, it's, it's time to call a spade a spade. That's it. It's time to call a spade a spade. You know, um, you can argue it whichever way you want to, but it's time to call a spade a spade. And it's time to decide when it comes to your emotions. Um, how you invest your emotions to with others as well as with yourself, you know, um, relationships, commitments, friends, families, what you allow, what you don't allow. It's time to sort of make up your mind, okay? Um, because it's almost like the universe is waiting on you and you're not giving it clear direction. And it's time to let go of certain things. You know, sometimes in life, we try the, the, the most amicable, respectful, um, you know, beautiful way of resolving things. But sometimes we just got to put our foot down. And I think it's time for you to put your foot down. All right. It's time for you to put your foot down, Sagittarius, and to say, this is yes, there is no, this is what I'm releasing. This is what I'm not holding on to. This is who I'm prepared to be. That is who I'm not prepared to be. Okay. So let's see what the universe has got for you. If that was helpful, if that resonates, I'd really appreciate you liking the video, giving a thumbs up, um, comments always welcome, um, subscribing to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when your weekly readings are coming out, Sagittarius. For those of you that are already subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. Let's see what it is that we got for you in Gaia Energy that cards presenting itself. Travel, expansion, new possibilities, new places, new things, new avenues. All right. It's a lot of new that is being offered here for you. Different opportunities in different directions, in different ways. So if you do feel without choice and you do feel without options, Sagittarius, know that um, travel is available for you. Physical travel, but also emotional travel, emotional growth, going from a, a certain plateau of feeling to a different plateau of feeling. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. I hope that that helps. 
um, if any of you want to have deeper exploration, you can always book a personal reading. The details to do that is down below in the description. There's a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free Oracle card reading course. Um, if any of you are interested in beautifully expanding your life through online past life regression hypnosis, there's a description. There's a link that you can click down below. And also, really give the guided hypnosis that I is coming up on your screen right now. Give it a chance. It will really enhance your life in abundantly positive ways. See you next time.